Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a voltage regulator using a Zener diode. And this circuit uses a single Zener diode, as you can see here, and a single resistor. And those are the only two components needed to build a voltage regulator using a Zener diode. So, <clears throat> the reason we have a resistor in this circuit is that um, a Zener diode can only hold a certain amount of voltage across its terminals. This Zener diode specifically is a 1N4733 Zener diode, which means it has a breakdown voltage of 5.1 volts approximately. So if you feed the circuit anything above this point, then the resistor um, then um, contains all the access voltage. So this can hold this in a diode again can hold up to 5.1 volts across it and then if the input voltage is greater than this then the resistor holds all the access voltage. Um, so again um, for this circuit the Zener diode has is in reverse bias. That's how it works. Zener diode is normally connected reverse bias. And right now I have about seven volts going to the circuit so let me hook up this I have a multimeter right here I'm gonna hook it up now okay so alright so now I have a voltmeter and then this is what you can see so you can see even with seven volts fed into the circuit the Zener diode has 5.1 volts across it. Now I'm going to increase the voltage and you can see the Zener diode is still holding 5.1 volts across it so it's functioning just like a voltage regulator is. Um, even though we increase the input voltage the output voltage across the Zener diode is staying stable. So this is the only setup that you need a resistor to absorb access voltage and the Zener diode and then Zener diode comes in many different um, breakdown voltage values so you can basically get any one that you need um, any voltage level that you need to be regulated at based on the Zener diode that you choose this again is a 1N4733 and has a breakdown voltage of 5.1 volts so it can function just about as a 5 volt voltage regulator.